Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How are you? Live dance. Welcome, welcome to. Well, you have someone with us. Hello. Fantastic. Uh, please introduce yourself in the comments. Yes. Introduce yourselves and describe a place without telling us what the place is. Mm -hmm. So then, don't tell us the name. Yeah. And we have to guess it. And that's why we have the, uh, the world behind us. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. So again, just give us a general description. Maybe tell us important monuments there or maybe the name of a museum. But don't tell us the name of the city. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And hi, welcome to the stream. So I will start and Sahar or anyone in the comments, you need to guess what place this is. OK. Mm -hmm. um, there is a big. Uh, OK, in this is a very big city. OK, it has a very big Ferris wheel. Okay. And um, very old um a very old parliament shall i say it yes it's london it's london yes very very good <laughs> oh i think Ooh, Diego is already it. playing yeah and we are also elena hi elena hi elena welcome yes go so, ahead where i live is a historical city that had many foreign dominations palermo Ooh, i think i think it's going to be sicily i think it's palermo yeah are we correct diego you just hi Valentina. Hi Valentina, welcome, welcome. So I uh, didn't for... burn the banana bread. Woo! So remember, uh, oh, we we're right. I was right. I said it first. Okay, high five. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> okay, never mind. That was so dumb. Anyway, <laughs> the game we're playing is you need to describe a place, and we will guess the location. So maybe somewhere you have visited, or maybe. Your hometown, for example, Diego. Um, we guessed it was uh, Palermo. Exactly. Okay, now it's my turn. I'm gonna make it so difficult. Mm -hmm. Let me just think one second. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll do. <laughs> okay, um, I'll do another one then. Uh, let's do maybe an Italian city. Okay, um, this is a historical city. Um, there aren't any cars and um, they make glass there. Venice? So, yes, exactly. Very good. Okay, no, oh, oh. maybe you won't find out mine. This city is uh, a very big city. Mm -hmm. I think maybe as big as London. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Uh, it's in the north of the country mm -hmm. that I'm talking about. It has a very, very long tower, and it's basically the most famous tower there. And there are mountains, and there are also a lot of museums that previously were palaces. OK. Oh, by the way, well done, guys, Diego and Sonia. You guessed Venice. Uh, mm -hmm. And Diego was born in Venice. Remember that we always use the past simple. I was born in Venice. Yes. I was. Oops. I was born. Uh, I am born is the present. So, well, not now. It was in the past. It's kind of difficult. Hello, Alessio. Uh, welcome. Um, Let's go. Okay, so you said big city. So I'm not sure, guys. If you know in the comments, please tell us the name. So big city like London, it has a very, very tall tower, mm -hmm. you said, which yeah. is the most famous thing of the city. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of museums that mm -hmm. were palaces. Mm -hmm. Not New York, Sonia. Okay. What could it be? Hello, Elena. Hi, Elena. It's, and hi, Eloisa, uh, as well. And it's in the uh, north of Europe. No. I said no. it's in the north of the country, not Italy. So it's of in Italy? Yeah. OK. It's not in Europe. OK, it's not in Europe. A tall well, it's, tower. It's in the Middle East. OK, it's in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, no. Um, 
I don't, uh, I don't know any cities in the Middle East. Um, is it? I, I don't know. Um, Elena says Seattle. Diego says is Istanbul. No, no. So it's very uh, some other examples. It's very polluted. Uh, there was a revolution. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> is it Tehran? Yes. <laughs> of course, of course. Why didn't I see this coming? Why? How did you not see this coming? I, I was like, I don't know. I don't know any cities in the Middle East. I'm like, that's rude. Plain, uh, plain rude. No, okay, guys. Tehran. Tehran is the capital of Iran. Um, Januka says there are bad engineers and a big crooked white tower. It's in Italy, and you can eat very good meat here. I know that what. Huh? No. Uh, oh, maybe. I was thinking of. Oh, yes, it probably is Pisa. Yes, I was oh, thinking Pisa. Oh, At first, I thought Bologna instantly with the tower, but it's not white, it's red. So. You're right. It must Why be Pisa. Why are there bad engineers in Pisa? Yeah, exactly. Why are there bad engineers in Pisa, Luca? Gianluca? Tell us. Thank you, Gianluca. See? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? Um, like, I have a lot of engineers that graduated from the University of Pisa. And are they good engineers? I guess so. I don't know what makes a good engineer. <laughs> <laughs> what makes um, a good engineer? <laughs> I, I oh, you know, should not. Um, okay, okay, let's play, let's play again. Let's play again. Um, oh, I think uh, I have it. Okay, go. There in this city, there is a very big bridge, long and tall bridge. People really enjoy taking pictures there. There is an island where they took prisoners to. And uh, the streets are completely inclined like this. Oh, I know the city. Yeah. I know the city, but I want people in the comment, no comments, where are the comments? This way, in the comments to tell us uh, what city is this? What city am I talking about? Mm -hmm. in the so meantime, Big Bridge. Claudio Frambari. Welcome, welcome. Um, so we're, we're talking big bridge, big incline, and uh, there is an island that was a jail or a prison. This is a very and, famous uh, prison. Yeah. My, I left my heart in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, Elena. Uh, Sonia says, this city is famous for two towers and for the food. I Bologna? know this one. It, I, I think it is Bologna, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, we both work. <laughs> you, you and the wall. <laughs> Me and the wall. <laughs> no, we both work in Bologna. Yeah, we both work in Bologna, and I must agree, the food is very amazing. Amazing, in, yes, in it Bologna. is amazing. Yeah. And hi, from Luciana from Milan. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, I've got another one. Um, yes. This city is very modern. Um, it is on the sea. And um, the most famous monument is an opera house. Huh? The most famous monument is an opera house. Yes. So, very modern city near the sea, and the most famous monument is an opera house. I think they got it. Yes, <laughs> it's in me. Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh, wow. Everyone, everyone found it out. OK, nice. That was nice. great. That was great. Hi, Filippo. Welcome. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's a very old city. It's uh, famous for the wine. It's a Roman city. It's famous for the two lovers. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, that are famous in Italy. 
And there is also a statue of the girl in the city. I think I know. I think and I it know. also has a miniature version of the Colosseum. <laughs> <laughs> but in better condition. But in better condition, exactly. And you're in some, yeah, exactly. Verona, wow, wow. There were like 10,000 Verona suddenly. Very good, guys, exactly. Okay, one more. Um, uh, you this... also tell us. Yes, you tell us, exactly. Um, make your own. Oh, we've got one from Valentina. It's a historical capital in Africa and it's famous for its ruins. It's uh, Cairo. Do you think? I suppose, maybe, yeah, Cairo. If it's in Africa. Yeah, because its ruins would be the pyramids, I imagine. Is it Cairo? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mm, silence. Though I discovered many things, uh, because I have so much time now, my hands, mm -hmm. I decided to watch some YouTube um, videos that talk mm -hmm. about history, obviously, mm -hmm. like, what else? And um, they, they said some very disturbing things about ancient Egyptians that I'm shocked. Yes, I was correct. It was Cairo, wonderful. Okay. Um, it's, uh, um, okay, uh, let me think. How do I describe it? Um, it's a, another city that is on the sea. Mm -hmm. um, it is a capital mm -hmm. and the most famous monument is, well, the most famous probably landmark um, is a brewery. A brewery is a factory that makes Ooh, beer. I know that. Also the statue of the lady. Yes, but not many people know about that. The lady. Well, they should if you go there. Also, I... wait, which, which statue of the lady are you talking about? Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Uh, so, European capital, famous for a brewery. And, oh, I think eloisa has got it. It's Dublin. Oh, yes. in Dublin's first city. Where the girls are so pretty. That's, yes, what, that's what I was talking about, like uh, Molly Malone's statue. I've never seen Molly Malone's statue. No. No. There was a, this, I was watching a, uh, always a video on YouTube that basically says that if you touch like the same thing that they do in Verona, they touch a part of Juliet's body and it brings you luck. So the same thing happens to Molly Malone. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, no, I just remember the sculpt. There's some really interesting sculptures of um, that were made to represent the famine. Um, oh. And they're they're quite haunting. They're quite scary. Um, really, I didn't see yeah. those. Yeah, great monument. Anyway. Yeah, it great monument. Great... <laughs> exactly. And I went to. I did go to until the brewery because I wanted to see uh, Guinness, but then I just like nah and went back. I looked at it and then I said, "Well, I'm gonna go to the pub and drink it. Why? Why? Why should I go see how they do it?" <laughs> and that's how I will never be working at a tra travel agency. <laughs> Filippo did when he was in Dublin. Wonderful. Yeah. Which one? The brewery or the, um, the statue? Molly Malone statue. I imagine the brewery, but maybe it was the Molly Malone statue. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at the objectives that we have today. Aaron, would you like to read? Uh, yes. In this focus activity, talking about travel, describing a place and a in a travel agency. Lovely. Do you, when you travel, do you do it with a, through a travel agency, Aaron no, and everyone else who's listening? Uh, no, I never book my holidays through a travel agency. I always organize it uh, myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I used to, I, I didn't use to, my parents used to. When I was younger, to have these kinds of holidays, you know, that you have everything there. Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. No, I was I was distracted. I, by I was distracted by John Lucas <laughs> comment as well. Yes, if you touch Juliet's BS, 
That was wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, that gives you luck. I did it, but it didn't work. <laughs> it does give you luck. I have a lot of pictures with that, doing that. Yes, Michelle also prefers to organize it herself, yes. Yeah, I also prefer organizing it myself. And I organized like one, one I was very looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I, I can't go there anymore, which breaks oh, my heart. No. I, have to, I have to say it at every webinar, like I have to make people understand <laughs> how, how happy, how excited I was. But anyway, no, I when, I, when you go to dry, travel agencies, I, I don't know. I don't trust them. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. You don't know if they're giving you a good deal or not. And yeah, I prefer booking for the hotels myself. I prefer mm. choosing I like for like booking a hotel. Do you have a dog? No, they're outside. Yeah. Um, when I book the hotel, I have to read every single review. Every single review. Every single review. What if there's 500 of them? I mean, not every single one of them, but just like, you know, some ten, five samples of the very worst ones, then 10 samples of the excellent ones, and then like find the middle ground. And you would be surprised, but like some people write, put one star because the weather was bad. Yeah. <laughs> what did the hotel do? I know, I know. Elena says, I organize my holiday with my caravan. Fantastic. And Clovis says, I like. Ooh, so pay attention that with like, we use the ING form. Like in the example, I like going on a cruise. So I like go taking the plane. Exactly. I like taking, taking the plane. Uh, also, with cruise, remember the cruise is a big, uh, it's a big boat that you go on holiday with, uh, on. So you have a swimming pool, you have, you know, bars, restaurants, it's a very big boat. Um, and the pronunciation is cruise. So the I yeah. is silent, uh, which is yeah. why please call him Tom Cruise. <laughs> exactly. I was I about to say. A lot of Italians say this wrong, but it's Tom Cruise. It, it's Tom Cruise. <laughs> like the cruise boat. Exactly. Exactly. I like traveling. Okay, so be careful, Gianluca. In this case, the preposition is by. So for all the ways you, uh, for all the uh, methods of transportation, we use by. Okay, so yeah, by I think car. he corrected it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but I still want to say it anyway. Okay. Except, okay. except for foot, because we say on foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, Claudia says, I like traveling by plane. Excellent. Uh, Luciana mm -hmm. says, I like traveling by plane. Wonderful, yes. Sonia says, I like traveling. Remember the ING form yeah. by plane or by car, depending on where I want to go. How, how do you like to travel? Um, I also like to travel by plane. It's very quick. It's easy. Uh, and... It just saves a lot of time. Quick <laughs> so, and painless. Exactly, quick and painless. I really love the airports. What do you mean? I don't know. I just like going to the airports. The so whole, you know, the, the whole experience of yay, so, I'm going to the airport. I have a few hours to just stay there, and there are no rules. So maybe I can even drink a beer during in the morning. <laughs> if there's a yeah like, I, I don't know it's just like it kind of excites me that the idea that I can do whatever I want and no one is judging because it's an airport yeah I mean true true um it, you, you uh, don't you don't says, share my, I, I don't, my love for airports no not really I mean that's probably the worst part of traveling by plane is the airport oh, I think the worst part of traveling by plane is the plane itself do you think yeah but because it, it's short though like it, it it doesn't take unless you're on it for like hours and hours but <laughs> when i the last time i went to san francisco i they always whenever i travel alone they give me the sit in the middle of two very large people i'm not even kidding it's like it, it's a constant thing that they just like to do to me in the middle yeah ten hour, so you... imagine a 10 hour flight 
Mm, with no room. Uh, we have a message from Alessio as well. Um, oh, Elena says, I like traveling. Well, I also I like also traveling like. by plane. Mm -hmm. Alessio says, I am very afraid of flying. Um, and for this reason, I like to go by train. I don't know why traveling. OK, traveling by plane. It said it was incorrect. Well, I am very afraid of flying. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't imagine. My, my also my grandma is very afraid of flying and mm. like managing to get her to Italy is always uh, drama. Difficult. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I like um, yeah. by car because I can choose my own destinations to visit. Excellent. Yeah, like a road trip. Yes. So when we go on holiday by car, we usually call it a road trip. Mm -hmm. On holiday by car, yeah. And Monique I, is here as well. Welcome, Monique. And you agree, but what? Which method of transportation do you prefer, Monique? Okay. Do you want to read this? Yeah, Filippo says I like traveling by plane, but I can't stand turbulence. Excellent, excellent use of I can't stand. Um, for those of you who don't know, I can't stand is similar to I hate. So I detest. I dislike. Yeah, I detest. Mm -hmm. And I love that adjective, I detest. Sorry, mm -hmm. that verb. I don't know, it's kind of cute. And anyway. Sunny says, sometimes I like going by cruise. Nice. I don't, actually. That's. I've never tried. I've never gone on a cruise. I remember my parents were uh, wanted to take me on a cruise with them. And I refused because I had just watched Titanic. And I was afraid that we were all going to die and sharks were going to eat us. And the thing is that the cruise was going to be around Turkey. Uh -huh. How, do you ever find icebergs around Turkey? So I missed the cruise. Oh, no. How old yeah. were you? I don't know. I was like maybe 10. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, no. Elena says, my first flight was Milan, Singapore. Wow, that is wow. very long, a long, very long flight. Tell us, Elena, how long was your flight? How long did it take? Did you like it? Did exactly. you fly? Did you fly with Emirates? Because that's a very nice first experience to do. And uh, Monique says, I prefer traveling by plane. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I also prefer traveling by plane, especially if there is someone else on the plane to play chess with. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the, know, yeah. the last time I, it, was it the last time? No. Well, anyway, um, the last time I was on a plane with Monique, we played chess. Do you play, do you know how to play chess? Oh yeah. Um, Monique and I had this game going for the entire time we were in Palermo. We, we would take out the chess set every so often and we'd continue it. So oh. it took a week, basically. <laughs> That's nice. Alan says, I think traveling by camper will be the most interesting way, but I didn't try it. You can even say, I've never tried it. Yes. It's an experience that you've never done. So we use present perfect. So, but I've never tried it. Maybe yeah, we'll write it in the comments as well. Um, and um, not will, because will is a future. I would use a would, the conditional. I think traveling by camper would be the most interesting, but I've never tried it. Yes. And then here, the Emirates is the best company. Yes, Sonia, definitely it is. I've never tried it. Is it that, is it that good? It is that good. It's like, basically, you don't even realize you're on a plane. Wow. <laughs> even if you're in uh, economy class? Sorry? Even if you're yeah. in economy class? Yeah, yeah. It's very comfortable. Oh, God, I thought it was an earthquake. It's very comfortable, and people are nice to you. They smile at you. It's really nice. It's not like, you know, Ryanair. Oh, where everybody is... Just wants to... Yeah. Yeah, just wants to get it over and done with um <laughs> elena the flight was the inaugural flight of a 747 singapore airlines 12 hours alone oh no 
Isn't it the same that disappeared? Tar, no. <laughs> Clearly she's still here. Okay, I'm not saying that her plane disappeared, but isn't 747? No, but a 747 is a type of plane. Exactly. I, I'm, I'm saying, isn't it that same type of plane that... Never mind. Um, yes, Emirates is very comfortable, even in economic class, as I said, yeah. And how did it go, Luciana? Yes, also mine was the... Oh, God, I don't... I'm not sure. I have to check. No. My longest flight was uh, Iran... Mm, New York. Iran what? Iran, New you York. You did Iran, New York? Tehran, New York. Tehran, yeah. New York. That is a long flight. Yeah, that's a long flight. How long did it take? I don't remember. <laughs> I was asleep the whole time. Oh, you I lucky can't... thing. Yeah, no, I managed to fall asleep everywhere. So, like, sleeping is not a big problem. Unless it's um, Ryanair. Like, Ryanair, I can't even move. And I'm quite no, short. exactly. So, <laughs> You can imagine me. I, no, I, I cannot fit. I cannot fit in Ryanair planes. Yeah. But I would like to try maybe a camper mm. holiday. I don't know. I've never tried, but it must be fun. Oh, definitely. Only for one so. day. <laughs> of course. Of only for one day. But I know of this uh, train that goes all the way from Moscow to Beijing. Mm. And it's called the, you know, the Trans-Siberian, Trans-Siberian, I think it's the name. And it's something that I would like to try. Yeah? Yeah. But I, I, I seem to have, I remember hearing something about it that... Um, what? It disappeared? No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing bad. <laughs> um, that you don't stay on the train for the entire time. Like... You 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 you're on the train for maybe a few hours or a few days even. Mm -hmm. Then you you stop. You have a look around the city that you've reached, and then yeah, you continue yeah. on the trip. Like the Orient Express. Hmm. Yeah, that that's the dream. Just because I read the murder on the Orient Express. Which one would you like to try? Um. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe I'd like to travel more by boat. I mean, I, I, I don't, I've, I've only traveled by boat a couple of times. I've taken a ferry, but um, maybe a smaller boat, like a... A rowing boat? Why not? Seriously? In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? No, obviously I wouldn't use it to travel per se, <laughs> but you know. That's interesting. But also the train is, is interesting to me as well. Mm -mm. No, the, do you, you never get seasick. No, I've I've never had problems with motion sickness. I don't. Mm. I never get sick in the car or in the plane or in the train or in the nowhere. Good for you. And you, your your mom was very lucky when you were a child. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> My um, sister. Yeah. Okay, I've got to read. My sister has lived in Berlin for about a year for work. Before this situation, I often flew there. Nice. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like maybe 10-hour drive. No. It depends where you go, where you start from. Okay. Sonia, my longest flight. Yes. Fly is the verb. Flight is the noun. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And to fly. It was Milan. I don't know how to pronounce this place. Numpen. Uh, I have no idea. Where is this place? It's in Cambodia. It's ah. the capital of Cambodia. Yes. That's nice. How long was it? Tell us. I want to mm. I wanna know. But in the meantime, we can continue here. Guys, have you ever been to Paris? I haven't. Me neither. I've only stopped there. I've only visited the airport, <laughs> the Paris Not even that. Um I was, um, because it was a connection flight and we went through Paris. Um, mm -hmm. It's a very big airport, I can say yeah. that. Um, <laughs> it has a big airport, that's for sure. Yeah. I've never Look. even visited the airport. 
I'm so mad. I really want to go to Paris. Okay, we have some comments. Sonia says, when I go to Rome, I prefer traveling by train. Excellent. Um, Elaine, I think, says, uh, my longest trip was from Paris to New Yeah. New Maya. I, I um, want to make fun of you, but honestly, I would pronounce it the same way. So. Okay, in New, in New Caledonia. I have lived there for one year. Um, it was great and a sunny experience. My nice, longest... very nice. Um, I'm sorry, but... I'm trying to think... What, oh, where okay, is... maybe... Okay, so maybe it's in France, this Neo Caledonia. This New Caledonia is in, uh, oh, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so it was sunny when you got there. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying yeah. to understand. That's amazing, though. It's French territory. Um, yeah, it is. In the Pacific Ocean. I've never seen this, but anyway, um, if uh, this experience is over, so if it's a finished experience, I would not use present perfect, but I, I would use past simple. So mm -hmm. I lived there for one year because... The time is over, it's finished, so past simple. Um, but it's excellent otherwise. Uh, Filippo says, once I flew towards... Uh, Yogyakarta, it's in Indonesia. A never-ending flight, about 30 hours. 30 hours. hours. That 30 is hours. That is that's, that's like one day plus six hours. Yeah. What the, was the flight good? Did you fly with Emirates? Please tell me, tell me <laughs> with Emirates, because otherwise, imagine Ryanair. Oh, not worth it. Not worth it. Um, yeah. as, yes, I have. I went to Paris in 2012. Excellent. You yeah. answered in the present perfect, and you specified the specific time with the past simple. Good job. We are very happy about this. Yes, we're very proud. Yeah. So, so now, tell guys, us. Two stops. Yeah. Two stopovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, so at least you had those st stops. But you just... I think you lost one day. Or did he gain a day? I think he gained days if he went through China. Like through, you know, that territory. Anyways. So, honestly, we really can't help each other at this point. So you guys tell us about Paris. Mm -hmm, exactly. Would you like to read the questions, Aaron? We have, what is Paris like? Remember, with this question, we're looking for a description. We need some adjectives for a description. What is Paris like? So is it big? Is it small? Is it interesting, historical? Tell us some adjectives, yeah? Because we have the verb to be. So what is Paris like? Uh, what can you see there? Uh, how is the food? What are the hotels like? How expensive is it? And uh, what can you do there? And what is the weather like? Again, description. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've heard that it's very expensive. Yes, I, oh, I've also heard this. Anyway, we have some stories. Claudia says, I visited Paris twice. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time I booked, past simple, uh, a hotel where each floor was inspired by the seven deadly sins. Wow. Very interesting. Very intriguing. This is a hotel I want to visit. So interesting. Can you please, please, please give me the name of the hotel? And I re I already know which sin I, I'm like going to enter in. Which? I'm not going to tell you. That's not in the middle of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Dante might hear me. Uh, Elena says, yes, I went to Paris with my family. I visited the Eiffel Tower. We change that but yeah and uh, notre dame cathedral hmm, excellent how, how is it doing how is the notre dame doing is it is it still going i, I think they they're still... rebuilding it yeah now i think so i don't know honestly i know that they they reached the funds anyway to rebuild it no i've never been to paris but in the future i will visit it okay be careful here just say i've never i have never because it's part of the experience you never had. Mm, present perfect. I have never been to Paris. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Claudia gave you the name of the hotel. Oh, which, oh, I thought it was just like vice versa. 
Like me too. Uh, I know. I, I think that's the name of the probably, hopefully, of the hotel. Oh my god! And uh, Luciana says Paris. Paris is a romantic city. I went there five years ago to celebrate my wedding anniversary. That's very nice. That's cute. Yeah. Very cute. Sonia Paris? says Paris is a very historical and romantic city. I went there three times many years ago. Is it more romantic than Italy, though? I disagree. You've never been there. Uh, yes, but it's Italy. We have pizza. How can you top pizza? <laughs> Is there anything more romantic than that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's and read like, some other. Yeah, I'm gonna like. <laughs> my longest trip was from Pisa to Japan. I wow. went there two years ago with my sister. It was an exciting journey, and we stayed there for about one week. <gasps> Only one week. Oh, okay. Because of it, what? Because it was one one of the most expensive journeys we booked the hotel and the flight a month ago. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I can imagine. Very nice. I would love to go to Japan. Um, it's a place that is definitely on the top of my list. Yeah, for the sushi. Also, yes. No, but in general for the culture, for the monuments, for the just the lifestyle in general. You know what? This is an actually interesting question we can ask. What's the first country you want to visit? Yes, after the lockdown. <laughs> In brackets, after the lockdown. <laughs> um, and Filippo says, when I was in Paris, uh, I saw a wonderful uh, sunset in Sacre-Cœur. That's a good pronunciation. Thank you. Sacre-Cœur. Montmartre. Yeah. That was okay. more Italian. Ah. <laughs> nice. The landmark that I like more that I like more are the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower, Disneyland Paris, Louvre, Versailles, and the Moulin Rouge. Generally, Paris is a beautiful city, but I prefer others. Nice. Good. Mm. Paris is a very expensive city, above all for the food. But is it good food is our question. <laughs> is it better than Italian food? Yes, this is the question. Mm -mm. Luciana says Muscat. Muscat. <laughs> it's the capital of Oman. Really nice. Why? A lot of people are going to Oman right now. Really? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I, I can see why it's a really beautiful country, but I don't, it's like, you know, those moments where people start looking at the Middle East. Mm -hmm. and it's really nice because then you're like, yeah, you consider us too. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just I'm trying to convince people to go to Iran. Of course. Uh, I go to Paris a lot for uh, my job. I like visiting it because you can see lots of things museums monuments etc i think the weather is not so good yeah i think so too it's just like you know berlin basically it's on the same like line i don't know how you call it in scientific words um latitude La longitude latitude latitude i think latitude okay it's on the same latitude Sonia says, I visited the Louvre and the Galerie d'Orsay. I love the Impressionist art. Me too, yes. Impressionism is one of my favorite uh, artistic movements. Nice. Oh, and Luciana has a very similar story to yours, Sahar. Yeah, I had arranged a trip to Oman, but had to give it up for the coronavirus. Me too. I had arranged a really, 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 really nice trip to yucatan in mexico i two weeks first week visiting most of the maya sites we had organized everything i couldn't believe i was like oh my god i can't wait and uh, then the second week was gonna be only about the caribbean sea and then nope but that got cancelled but then you know the whole year got cancelled for everyone so mm -hmm. 
yeah you know, exactly so <laughs> we're not alone we have all other other people that can suffer with us and Alyssa says the first country i'd most like to visit after the lockdown is seville me right. too actually like apart from mexico like i have to like redo the whole thing but you know a capital in europe a long weekend i also wanted to go to seville um, Alex uh, had a great idea where, considering that after the lockdown, a lot of um, foreign tourists won't be able to come to Italy, um, mm -hmm. it's a great time to go visit Italian cities um, because there won't be many tourists in them. Can you imagine finally Venice without tourists? Yes. I will actually It'd be like amazing. It. <laughs> No, okay, like I have a strange relationship with Venice just because I visited it like a thousand times and stayed there a thousand nights because my friends you, uh, studied there at the university. Mm. So I'm just like so done with it. But maybe it's because of the tourists. Yeah? Oh, should I read? Okay. Martinez, yeah. at the top of my list for the next trip, there is New York. I went to New York City, be careful. You're using the verb that indicates movement. So we use to, I went to New York City for my honeymoon eight years ago, and I wish to return there as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. As soon as possible, yes. This is a great expression. You can also abbreviate it to ASAP. ASAP as possible. <laughs> All right, oh. oh, we have so many more. You want to read this? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, after the lockdown, I want to go back to Assisi. I went there two years ago, uh, but I love this city. Wonderful. Uh, I, I've never visited Assisi, but I'd love to see it as well. Yeah. Um, Katarina says, I went to Paris many times. So I would say I have been to Paris many times. Again, life experience. I visited museums, the cathedral, the Eiffel Tower, remember the order. Um, I think Paris is one of the most romantic cities, but I've never been there with my boyfriend. Hmm. It's, yeah. I The only reason why I think that Paris is romantic because I watched Midnight in Paris. Hmm. But like, if it's for, you know, it's a very cultural city. Mm. And as I said, the food in Italy is better, and <laughs> love is food, so. Or food is love. Food is um, love. <laughs> <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> one of my best trips, uh, mm. travel, remember, we usually use it as a verb, while the noun we use, trip. One of my best trips was in 2016 to Cuba, mm -hmm. uh, where I saw the Rolling Stones in concert. Amazing. Wow, yeah. Also Cuba. Yeah, I, I want to see. I want to visit all the whole world. The first in my list, definitely though, after you know, Sevilla, Mexico, like every every other thing, is Nepal. So the first on my list <laughs> after all of these other things on my list <laughs> is Nepal. Nepal, what a nice yeah. place. Yeah. I'd like to go to South Africa because of sunsets, sunrises, animals which cross streets, nature, and culture. Okay. Animals nice. cross streets in South Africa? I imagine they do. We have to ask Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Antonio says, Paris is a beautiful city. You can visit the Louvre Museum and see the Gioconda, painting by Leonardo da Vinci. The food is tasty, especially wine and cheese, but it's a bit expensive if you go to the restaurant. Oh, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that's... Also, like this whole thing, why is the Gioconda in the Louvre? Because no, nope. uh, it has to be in Italy. It belongs in an Italian museum. But but Leonardo brought it to France. He gave it to the King of France. Why would he do that? Also, is know. the King of France alive? No. Okay. <laughs> Point <laughs> proven. Um, after lockdown, I want to go to Istanbul. Oh, me too. I would also love to visit Istanbul. It's definitely oh, in God. the top three i would say on my list istanbul is amazing alessio asks a very good question when can i use journey journey is very similar to trip um i would use it for a particularly long trip yeah a very long trip mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay, what, how about we change city? Let's change slide and see what they can tell us about Barcelona, Barcelona this time. Let's talk about Barcelona. Have you ever seen, have you ever visited this city? Um, what is it like? What can you see there? How's the food? What are the hotels like? How expensive is it? What can you do there? And what is the weather like? Okay, guys, I, I'm being nice to Italians. Because the French voted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm very like, um, no, I'm not actually like Indiana Jones in this case. I'm the opposite of Indiana Jones. However, have Wait, you ever been what is Indiana Jones like? Why are you the opposite of Indiana Jones? Well, Indiana Jones goes to these uh, native, uh, yeah, well, he goes to these caves and things like that, and then basically takes the stuff and puts it in a museum, which mm -hmm. usually ends up to be either, uh, it usually is an American museum. Mm. or English museums. And I don't think that is the correct way. It should be in the museum of the country in which you found Where it. Where it's from. It's yeah. true. It's true. So like, for example, in Turin, we went to the Egyptian museum. It's oh, what, what? true. And it's the second <laughs> biggest in the world. <laughs> exactly. So for me, it's like question mark. Mm. But anyway. <laughs> Napoleone Bonaparte stole the Draconda. We have a lot of conspiracy theories. Yes, we have a lot, a lot of theories. Um, but the yes. most important is, have you been to Barcelona? Exactly. Also, I like how there is a discussion, like there's a debate starting in the comments about the, the Draconda. Uh, this is just a further when Anato brought... The... <laughs> Probably. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> at the time yeah Maybe. probably um anyway tell us about barcelona uh, have you ever been there what is the food like have you ever been to barcelona sahar i've been to barcelona like three four times i really love it it's my yeah. favorite city uh, i've been there with my friends and mm -hmm. only once with my with my family and I've met some people from Barcelona, so they like, you know, took me around to places, really nice places to have tapas in, and the well, patatas bravas and paella. So mm. and like the, the the architecture of this place is amazing mm. because mm. you know because <laughs> because yeah no I I've never <laughs> been there no because I'd love to visit. It's from Barcelona. I no, was he? Maybe was he? he was from Barcelona, but he a lot of things to for the city. Hmm. Oh, I was in Barcelona many years ago when my son was little. Barcelona is a fantastic city, full of life. I love Gaudi's works and Spanish cuisine. Nice, yeah. very nice, very nice. Um, Antonio says Barcelona is definitely my favorite city. I would say my favorite city. Uh, landscape, it, the landscape is splendid, marvelous, glorious. Wow. There are both hills and sea. Uh, you can see many museums and cathedrals, plural, like the Sagrada Familia. I think the U was extra there. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the art, the architecture is represented by Gaudi and what? No, that's not true. <laughs> that's what my dad said, but no. There's paella, there's tapas, there's like a thousand tapas. And then there's, what well, one of my favorite tapas is patatas bravas. And then you have so many more, sangria. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia says Barcelona is a very amazing city. The Sagrada Familia is the most famous monument. Excellent. Guys, very well done. I'm seeing some great uh <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm I was born a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, so thank you very much for joining us. This has been an amazing stream. Uh, we've seen some great comments and some great descriptions. Um, oh, I'm not keen on paella. paella. Very good. Um, Very good. I'm not keen on. 
Yes, not keen on means I'm, I don't particularly like. Yeah, very good. Um, remember that uh, travel is the verb, trip or journey is the noun. Journey is a long trip. Yeah. And uh, yeah, any other vocabulary or words that we needed to review? Um, just be careful when using the preposition for transportation is by car, by train, by everything, but only on foot. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pronunciation is cruise for a cruise, cruise ship yeah. or for a Tom Cruise. <laughs> All right, guys, we have to leave you. Have a lovely day and we'll see you next time. Yes. Oh, God, well, there's a comment. Oh. I went to Barcelona twice. It's a very wonderful city. There are a lot of beautiful landmarks and the food is fantastic. But if you want to feel the real heart of Spain, you have to go to Madrid. I believe I also think that's true. I would like to read also the other comments, but we have to really stop here. I'm sorry, guys. We'll have see you next time. Bye-bye. I got it Friday, yes. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>